guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome I am Taylor today I'm going to be sharing with you an idea for a potluck Kat over at Southern Farm and Kitchen had a subscriber ask her for some potluck ideas so Kat got us all together and created a playlist and we're all gonna be sharing some different potluck ideas for you guys to take for potlucks because in the fall and the winter people seem to have like a lot of potlucks so we thought it would be good to give you guys some ideas there will be a playlist link down below so make sure you guys check that out today I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my pulled pork in the crock pot I'm going to show you how you could take the crock pot with you and have people make their own sandwiches or also how you could turn the pulled pork into sliders. So let's get into it. Okay, to make this pulled pork in the crock pot, you're going to need some pork. I've got this bone-in pork shoulder butt roast that we're going to put in the crock pot. It is right at about six pounds. And then you're going to need some seasonings. I've got some paprika some garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, and some brown sugar. We're going to mix a bunch of those together in a bowl to make the seasoning that's going to go on top with some salt and pepper. And then in the bottom of my crock pot I have already added three-fourths a cup of water and a fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar. We're going to place the pork in there and then put all the seasonings that I mixed together on top of it and then cook it on high for four to six hours. Okay, it has been, I think it's been five hours and I have shredded up all of my meat. You could drain off some of the liquid if you want to. I just used these two giant forks to shred it up and then I used the tongs to pull out my bone and some of the bigger chunks of fat because there was a bone in this one and a big piece of fat on like the bottom side. So I pulled all that out so we wouldn't have any big chunks of fat on our sandwiches or anything. And this is what it's looking like. Now there are two ways I think you could serve this for a potluck. You could just take the whole crock pot like this and your bottle of favorite barbecue sauce. We're going to be using Sweet Baby Ray's and some buns and just like have everybody just make a sandwich as they want to. That works really well. Or you could also do sliders. I actually don't have slider buns. I'm going to make some little sliders kind of for me and the kids. Just some little sandwiches. I've got these hamburger buns. I'm gonna go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on the buns and then the meat. And then I'm gonna pop it in the oven for just a few minutes to get the buns kind of toasty. And you could do it like a big whole sheet of those with like either like Hawaiian rolls or just slider buns and take that to a potluck as well. I think either just the pot of barbecue with buns on the side or the little barbecue pulled pork sliders. Both are awesome ideas for a potluck. So I'm going to go ahead and put together our sandwiches and then I will show them to you.
our sandwiches out of the oven. I just cooked them on 350 degrees for about seven minutes. So now they're like nice and kind of toasty. Just a little bit crisp. That's going to be it for this potluck video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to check the playlist link down below so that you guys can get some more potluck ideas. And thank you to Kat for hosting this collab. If you haven't checked out her channel before, it will be linked down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!